up guys it's your girl Megan all right so for today's meal prep I'm going to show you how I make my barbecue meatloaf Drew's like absolute favorite dish I don't know I think a lot of the dishes that we make he says this is his favorite but I know for a fact that this is like his absolute favorite dish <laughs> all right so um ingredients are I'm gonna say it's simple, but I mean, oh, they are simple, but I mean, meatloafs are the thing where you can add what you want to it. You can do cheese meatloaf, like cheeseburger meatloaf. You can do just a normal traditional meatloaf. So whatever you choose to season it with is pretty much on your own, but this is what I use and it usually turns out great. All right, so of course you need your ground beef or ground turkey. I have ground beef here. You'll need milk eggs chili sauce worcestershire sour sauce i said it right ha <laughs> some um barbecue sauce here we have um garlic powder onion powder some celery salt oregano black pepper dry mustard seasoning salt and parsley flakes and also have some minced garlic here i have one medium onion and one bell pepper chopped and i have about two cups of breadcrumbs okay so I didn't have enough no I have my four cups sorry I didn't have enough of breadcrumbs the Italian breadcrumbs so I just took like two slices of bread out of the freezer toasted them and chopped them up to wheat make bread. the equivalent wheat bread so there you go you can use crackers you can if you use ground turkey I would say use crackers because it just absorbs it a little bit better in my opinion but you can use whatever you want or I've even done pork rinds so you can use whatever you want my oven is preheating at 350 degrees I have some olive oil warming up on the stove so I'm going to go ahead and saute my veggies real quick and then we'll be back all right so really just want them to kind of sweat down a little bit get a little transparent and then you'll be ready to add them to your meat all right so once this gets done we'll be back to add everything together so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the veggies with the olive oil in it just the extra fla flavor huh? the veggies smell good don't they though y'all know how I do I tend to mix everything with my hands anyway they are clean all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add in your eggs like I said at this point you're just adding everything garlic I meant to should have added that in with the veggies while they were browning but I forgot all right so I'm gonna add in hopefully all the seasonings. Barbecue sauce. You can use whatever barbecue sauce y'all want, but Y'all know what kind we like. Sweet baby rice. I was going to say, if y'all been with us for a minute, you then know you it. already know. I know all the barbecue sauce, folks. All right. So, let's. Did you put that in too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that's a healthy bowl. I know. I'm gonna be hell trying to mix it all, but I'm gonna get it now. All right, let's go in. Now, what? Hold on. Show that face again. What? You had that once. You had that that worried face. I wasn't worried. I guess a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. Let me pour some milk for you. Let me know when. I will. Get in there. 
Let me scared of it. Ain't nobody scared. Yeah, there you go. I'm talking north to you now. Yeah, hush. <laughs> All right. Again, you're just trying to make sure that everything is nice and seasoned. This ain't nothing worse than cutting into or tasting some meatloaf that ain't got no seasoning to it. Right I'm getting there. Hey, hey, Don't you, you see go. me working around? No, I'm sorry. Shoot. I was wondering what you were doing. Hush your mouth. All right, can you pour the milk for me? Sure, what do you want in there? Anywhere? Anywhere, fine. All of it? No, about half. All right. Yes, this is a lot of meat for two people. However, our meal preps are not just named meal prep. We eat this for the entire week. So that's why we cook a lot of food. <laughs> and sometimes for lunch and dinner. So yeah. if you look at that, that's not much at all. All right, last little bit. All right. Not much at all. good and mixed in all right yep all right All right, so we'll put these in the oven and let them cook for about 30 minutes and then drain off any fat that you have that has gathered in there and then um once you got done with that then you'll add your top coat which is your sauce and then you put it in back in the oven let it cook for another 30 minutes and then you'll be done all right guys so our meatloaf has been cooking for about 30 35 minutes so what i did was just add um about four of well more chili sauce and barbecue sauce. If I was just doing this one, and then I would just do a cup of barbecue sauce and then um, a fourth of a cup of chili sauce. But since I have them both, I just kind of mixed it together. Brush and pour your back of your spoon and brush it on over. You can put as much or as little sauce as you want. Keep in mind that the meatloaf does have the same sauce in the inside. So if you like more sauce on the outside, then add more on the outside. Mm -hmm. Look good. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in the oven for about another 30 minutes or until the sauce is like kind of thick on top and then we'll be done. 
All right, guys, so we're back, and the barbecue meatloaf is done. Um, so right now, I'm just gonna let it rest, because you want, anytime you're cooking meats and stuff like that, you want it to rest so that it can absorb the juices and stuff. You don't want to cut directly into it, because then all of your hard work just kind of spills out. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice into it. Said you can make it a stick or as small as you want them. But if you have meatloaf, why would you want a little small piece? You don't want the small piece. Alright, well, I'll just pick up that little small piece. There you go. All right, guys, but there is your Drew's, another one of Drew's favorite dishes. Um, but thank you guys for watching and staying with us for this time. Please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video on all of your social media, however you see fit. All right, guys, bye. Hey, hey family, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Please be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, check out our latest video and be sure to subscribe. Bye, Bye guys. guys.